to Peter Llewellyn. Please start your Everybody. You can actually feel the excitement here tonight. You know, and there's a little chuckle and there's a smile. When we came here last time, you know, the race was just starting. And, you know, we wanted to feel the excitement. We wanted to sort of feel like there was something happening. But it hadn't started. But it started now. And it's starting with the grassroots. It's starting with people out in the different parts of the town. I may be unblessed, I guess, in one way. The mustache for number one, but, but uh, I have a lot of people come in to my businesses. I, I see a lot of people every day. And one of the things I have an opportunity to do is to talk to them at length about what's happening on PEI. People are concerned about PEI, but they're also concerned about what the PC party of Prince Edward Island is going to do about it. They are talking to me about what are the issues, what's happening. And, you know, it takes a while for people to get warmed up. I had some very significant visitors over the weekend. Some health people came in to look at my thumb that I cut at the tail field contest. No. But I had some people come in and they wanted to talk to me about the issues. They wanted to find out what I believed we could do to change these things. And we had a heart-to-heart -heart talk. We talked about what it was like many, many years ago, you know, and all of mentions the miscarriage. And I asked my wife about this. Uh, but on the week that that hospital opened, my wife was brought in on a gurney from Montague, having a miscarriage, and was left in the lobby 25 years ago. And they had to fight to get her brought in. So I'm talking to one of the administrative people that, that dropped in to see me. And we brought it up and we talked about it. It's not about the symptoms that's our problem. It's about why we're not correcting these things. It's not about pointing fingers. It's not about getting mad at people. It's about finding out how we can make it that it doesn't keep happening. It's so often that we get mixed up between wanting to blame and wanting to change. Prince Edward Island is in the position right now to have one of the best health cares in Canada. It has in the position to have one of the best education systems in Canada because we are small. Because we are a small province with all the resources of a provincial government. Yet, instead of putting money into education, we move a liquor store across the street for $900,000. Instead of looking at staffing the different hospitals, um, I was at a function the other night, and one of the nurses from Montague Hospital came up to me and said, did you know in this month, that all of the temporary and casual nurses in Montague have been told to find other work because there's no more shifts for them in Montague. And the nurse said to me, she said, who's going to relieve me when I have a family crisis? Who's going to relieve me when I have to go on vacation? So what's happening is, through some of the administrative mistakes, we are actually setting up the stress and the problems within our healthcare system. There has to be a time when we start to bring leadership into this. I've spent 23 years of my life dealing with people. I met with a union person this morning. You know, it's funny, she said, you're management. And I said, you're union. But we're both Islanders. There is a problem when we're not sitting and talking together. She's concerned that people have lost hope within the civil service. She's concerned that we have given up on PEI about our future. We continue to talk about what could have been, what should have been, what we would have done 10 years ago if we had this chance or if this government wasn't in. Today, we have to understand the PC party is going to grow with people. It's going to grow with people who are going to sit down with us, offer their ideas, and we're going to have to be prepared to listen to them. A few years ago, there was a big change in a couple other provinces. They looked at what they were doing in the PC party and they decided that they were going to make a radical change. They were going to bring in a leader or leaders that didn't have a lot of experience in the political front. Leaders that were outspoken, leaders that maybe were, some point people say a little bit of a point stick. I think we're talking about Ralph Klein and Danny Williams. Okay? We had a party that decided it was time to rebuild. And if we're going to rebuild, 
We need to bring it with leadership that believes in PEI, leadership that has experience, and the third thing that's needed is your people here tonight. If you don't believe the PC party is going to be the next government of PEI, then you're the only ones in PEI. Because we are going to form the next government. There is a growing feeling on PEI that this next election is going to be won by this PC party because the people here around these tables are out and we're beating the streets. I have my buddy from the school fight here with me tonight. I just kept had this overwhelming urge to throw a shoe, but I couldn't find anybody to throw it at. <laughs> so, you know, we've been involved in PEI. This is a tough crowd. That shoe thing should have got a laugh. Yeah, so anyway, what I want to leave you with here tonight is I have the experience, but I have the belief in PEI. And when we sit down at the table and we talk about what the future is for PEI, I believe it from the bottom of my heart and I'll fight for it, and I'll make sure it happens. Because I'm part of your team, and I want all of us to be a team in this role. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. Wow, wasn't that a treat?